baby. It's a small baby. How is it not a baby yet? Are you are you worried about all the, the poor innocent babies that die? Um, because you know, like something I have put something forty percent of fertilized eggs get flushed away before. You mean that the body naturally flushes away? Yeah. No, because that's natural. Oh, is it well? That's if natural. If babies that were naturally killed, you would be concerned about it though. Well, if God decides that naturally that body is going to do that, then yes. Oh, okay. That's up to the so Lord. Life is in God's hands. You said, oh, okay, or do you go and get chemotherapy? Well, that's a good question. I don't know if I'd get chemotherapy or not because I don't know if I trust him. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I mean, in general, do you think it's okay to, to go to the doctor when you're sick or just not? Of course it's okay to go to the doctor when you're sick. Why wouldn't it be? Well, if you can, I mean... Nobody's even looking for a cure for all these babies that are dying. Why not? They are. They're looking, they think they have the cure, murder them. No, I'm talking about the, the, the fertilized eggs that get flushed away naturally. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. But he just no, said. Nobody cares about them because he nobody said, really thinks they're babies. I mean. They're not. If, 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 they're, it's just an egg. It hasn't been fur. It, well, no, there's been means, no conception. Okay, so an egg is just an egg. A sperm is just a sperm. When it comes together, it makes conception, it's right? Fine. Poof, a baby. Well, that's how you got here. <laughs> Everybody's here the same way. That's how you got here. I was, uh, yeah, I wasn't the baby. I wasn't me when, when there was just that sperm and egg, and I wasn't me yet. Just after they combined. The Bible it says it says it was. I, yeah. I knew you. When, I knew you when you were still in your womb, your yeah, mother's you womb. That, no, no, no. You got it wrong. Before I formed, I knew you before I formed you in the womb. Because he's omniscient. So, right. Right. So that doesn't mean that, that it's okay you, for you. To, okay, you're not you when there's just a sperm and egg, but poof, you're you when. They can well, that's what life is. Mean, I mean, you're missing. You're totally misinterpreting that. That's like saying, well, when's a puppy a puppy then? I would, I would say the same thing, that, that it's when it's, you know... So then, you, so then you're say, what you're saying is that a human is like an animal then? Um, you don't believe there's any difference in human beings and animals? Um, you th do you think we are different? I mean, Absolutely yeah, we're different. Certainly, of course. You have a conscience, animals don't. Right, okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. You you have a conscience, right? You know you you have a uh, so between right and wrong. We're not animals. We're human beings. Right. Okay. We're so right. Different. You have a conscience. You know that there's, you're sentient. You understand. Okay. So, anyways, um, if okay, so if you were uh, if you have the choice of saving a hundred fertilized eggs or an actual born baby, which one would you save? Well, that's, that, that's, that's not, not even an accurate, that's not up to me. That's not even an accurate question. Those are like, those are like, uh, Philosophical right. Jumbo -jumbo. No. Okay, I'll, I'll answer <laughs> for you because of course, everybody who's, who's not Every mental person. would say the baby because a baby is a, a baby. And a so baby you're saying the baby doesn't right? become a baby until it's 24 weeks? Yeah, around there. Gotcha. So you believe that it, that it's not a baby saying? until that? It's like, you believe that's not cares. a baby until then? Nobody cares. The, the fertilized egg doesn't care. And there's really, I mean, if you... If you so you think the lady that just had a miscarriage in our church last week, you don't think she cares that her baby died and she believes it was a baby? If she wanted a baby, she's going to kill her, of course. Right, but, but you don't... Well, she didn't get a baby. That's what you say. She had a mis... Because they're expecting to have a baby. Right, but she had a miscarriage, but she believes it's a baby. That's her right to believe whatever she wants. So, but it's not a baby that she lost? I would say not. I mean, it depends. When, what, what week was that? I don't know. But, so you would say uh, she... Yes, of course, it's fine to mourn a lost pregnancy. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's not a baby in your and eyes. I wouldn't say, oh, that's a, it's, I wouldn't say, oh, that's a human life. I and mean, you got to, you know, no, no. I mean, you would, I, mean, you, I wouldn't force somebody to keep keep that in them when they don't want it, you know, it's not, it's worth it, the, the person who's pregnant is far more valuable than that potential life that's growing into it. Really? Wow.
Don't you think that's foreign? Don't you think that understanding to that is absolutely it's literally torture? But you don't you don't torture. you think that's a foreign concept to what a mother is? It fits the definition of torture. You don't think that's a foreign concept to what a mother is? Because mothers mothers tend to have a desire to protect life. Yes. Not to not that's to it. that's it. You got not it. to destroy it. it. Okay. You just proved that abortion is not wrong. How did I prove it? <laughs> okay. Mothers, mothers have a natural instinct to protect their children. Right, and they don't. The ones that do women, it don't. Women who abort don't. Right, because they have because it's not a baby. No, they it's because, because they have they have unnatural they affection. They've been told that it's not a baby. No, they're believing a lie. Women, women, women who have been told their entire lives that abortion is wrong will still go and get an abortion. It happens all the time. Of course it does, because the hearts are evil. The hearts are, are sinful. Evil. Of course they are. A huge number of women. They yeah, they're abortion. evil. And, and there have been studies. They've, they've interviewed women who got abortions. 95% of them, even years that's, later, do not regret. That's a lie. That's, that's a lie. No, that's no a it isn't. It I have looked it up. I've that's looked at all the same true. information you have. We just don't interpret that's, the facts the that's same. Not the, that's not true at all. I'm I've sorry. seen the facts I've of, of women. I've seen statistics that say the majority of women do regret having... Three, I, well, I only know three people have serious implications. Have None of them regret it, so that's 100% there. I've had two of them in my two women in my church that, that, that had them, and they were... That woman that was talking to you earlier, that right, older yes, lady? I heard that. But it sounded like not, she regretted it. That's not the norm. The norm is that they... The, the most common feeling after an abortion is relief. Why would you be relieved? Because... I don't have this. I, I, oh, that's you, a you sick understand? thing. I know I don't. Because I mean, my I've watched my wife have eight children, so no, I don't understand. It's dark. It's really sadistic and dark. And you, but you had eight children, and, and you, you, you claim to be a, a Christian. Yeah, I'm a pastor, so because, yeah. Oh, okay. Because now, in my view, and, and based on... What, what Jesus taught, that's, that's just wrong. What's wrong? Having eight children is in wrong? this world, eight billion people, and, and so many people are suffering. And, and Man, I'm going to have a lot more if we can. Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, see, that's what's... That's I have what, regrets. Makes... I do have true regrets. Yeah, if I... I could do it all over again, I would have had more children. <laughs> I would have... that I is just, that's what's wrong. Really? That's wrong. That's horrible. That really? Just have so would you? Children. So would you try to take a, the? A, a, well, so would I you try to take the law to try to stop us from having them? Is that what you no, would do? No, I wouldn't do that. Oh, you sure? You wouldn't like get the army out and come looking for us and put us no. to death because we have children? Yeah, because you have the, the choice to do that. I mean, I might take away your tax benefits, but why? Is, why is that? How else do you think you're going to pay for this I country? Just, How else, without children, are you going to pay for this country? You don't have enough workers now. Are you insane? <laughs> Are you an insane I, woman? I think she. Are you insane? Oh, how all, how can you have a society respect. without children? How can you fund it? Did I ever say we everybody should completely stop having children? Did I ever say that? No. Okay. She's like what China. If, okay, she thinks she should just be like one decided, or two. Oh, I'm gonna be like this guy, and everybody had eight children. That'd be awesome. Really? I'd be great. What do you there's, think would happen? Three hundred. What is it? Three hundred and fifty million people now. Yeah. Okay. Eight children. No, seven that billion. Four times in one seven generation, billion, the there world would be over a billion of us. That'd be in awesome. The second generation, there would be four billion. What would happen? Americans, we die, suffer. You really think we so, huh? Yes. You, she has I mean, no faith. No. That's what happens? No, it doesn't happen. Yes. It's never happened anywhere. <laughs> We've never been overpopulated, and we're not overpopulated now. Oh my God. Okay. How could you believe something so well, foolish? In, in an ideal world, this is our worldview. In an ideal world, every human being on, that's alive on this earth would repent and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. become then, members yes, of their they local would stop church. Stop having babies because they know you would see their. No, themselves. I didn't say that. You said that. Yeah. We, it's like be fruitful and multiply. Okay, yeah. and then God <laughs> provides. He provides the air. He provides everything. Man says they want to do. Th they want to snub their nose at God, despise His words, and do things their own way. So they form governments. Those governments are th those. That's the problem. There's plenty of resources for all human beings, past, present, and future. The How many people can fit in Wyoming? 
How many people can fit in Wyoming? How many people can fit out in these in these vast areas well, of, of well, like nobody there? Arizona, it's great. There's a lot of leaves. Right. But there's no water. You know, they have know, water. These dig for it. There's water. They dig for it. But in all these other places. You're living in a fantasy. No, I'm not. I'm living right here. Hey, oh, yeah, utopia, right isn't it? We're not utopia. running out of water. You're, you're just yeah, utopian. Yeah. We're not running you're out of water. A, you're, you're living in a Christian like, utopian uh, you're, you're, uh, dream. You're living in a fantasy world, and you're making people but, suffer because of your, your fantasies. But, but but I'm making at, people suffer. You're think, the one that wants to put them to death. I don't want to put anybody to death. look at you, we think you're living in a fantasy world. The Bible says, What's that? What concord hath Christ with Belial? None. There right. With, with, you, you, you're not going to ever agree because you're not saved. You need to be saved. You need the mind of Christ. Well, and if, until if, then, if there's not going to be any people, reconciliation. Like guys, I don't want any part of it. Well, of course you don't. <laughs> you're a raging feminist. Why would you want any part of it? Your heart is dark. You're, you're. Your your heart is dark and broken and dead in trespasses and sins. What do you mean I don't care? I care about life. You want to murder it, and I'm at and I'm having children. What's the difference? We have babies, and you want to murder them. It's two different worldview. Worldviews are it's a it's a cult culture cultures cultures are clashing. It's a culture clash. To real people. Not not imaginary babies. Who are imaginary babies? Who said anything about a fertilized egg? That's when life, we were talking about conception, but life begins at conception. It sure does. That's what God says, yeah. Right. Well, you're not talking about aborting fertilized eggs. You're talking about aborting babies. That's what you're for. Babies, but I don't see any babies, okay? You're just imagining, imagining, oh, it's... Really? So... So since the beginning of time, people have had babies the same exact way, but they're not babies. That is the yeah, dumbest really, argument. Well, look that at is the dumbest argument. Abortion is merciful. Yeah. <laughs> You've proven you that are. You that proves that you don't care about that's, You're insane. That's Baphomet. You are insane. And I'm not trying to be mean to you. I'm just trying to be honest with you. You are insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah. I mean, to call for the destruction of your own people. Oh. I mean, that's, that's insanity at the <laughs> highest level. It's pretty crazy. But what do you expect from a raging feminist? Ah. Not much. 